We've had this truck in the shop to do stuff to the engine and whatnot, and it had one of these seven pin flat or whatever plastic connectors in the bed. So I took that out and put a proper seven pin round in. Everybody should be using those instead of these. It's so much better of a connector. Anyway, put that in there. I was going to put one down here, the stock one they have mounted to the left of the hitch. So it makes me a little bit nervous because if you miss the trailer, if you're hooking up by yourself, you can smash this. It's going to put this over here on this side, but there's just not enough room for the plug because these plugs are longer. So I got to looking at this plastic thing that was in here holding the license plate. And I was like, well, if these reverse lights weren't here, I could stick a plug there and a plug over here and it would work great. So I cut out this bracket and I've just put it on reversed by accident to, to fit it up, but it's going to go the other way around. And these are going to get bent out slightly to hold the plugs so you have clearance to get to them. Then I made this little bracket. I didn't drill the holes in it yet. I found an old license plate light. This will get welded on here and then the light can bolt fast to that for license plate light. So of course I put the holes for those screws in the wrong place. Both directions I measured wrong. So I got that fixed. Um, got these things bent, but we have a problem. I don't know if you can see it, but that's not great. And most of that flex is coming from this thin rail here. It's part of the bed, like a bed rail, I guess, that it's just screwed into. Um, there's a little bit of flex in my actual tabs here, um, but I don't think that's a big deal. I might... If I made more, I might cut out of like 3 16th or something instead of 8th inch. Just give it a little more rigidity. Um, but to fix this, I cut out this cardboard template. It's going to bolt to the back side of the license plate mounting hole. And I'll run a self-tapper into the bed cross member right behind this. And that should triangulate it and stiffen this up quite a bit. So I need to convert this into CAD and cut some out. Just got this little bracket mounted up. Got to weld it fast to the rest of the thing yet. Sorry for all the close-up shots. I have not very much room be between me and the garage door. Anyway, nuts welded on. Got my f one of my braces cut out and bent. I'm going to stick this up there, self-tapper it up to the one bed rail, and we'll see if that helps anything. Wow, even with just one brace in there, that is a lot better. It's still, when you plug it in, it's got a bit of flex to it. Like I said, I think if I would cut it out of 3 16th plate, or if I didn't have quite so big of a nice pretty hole there, um, it probably wouldn't be as bad, but this is fine. I can live with that. doesn't feel like you're going to yank the thing off the back of the truck when you pull it out. Got it all painted up. All my skippers are on the back, so nobody will ever see them. Anyway, let's get this thing bolted in, and we'll be pulling trailers in no time. These little M12 batteries work great for powering stuff up for testing. This used to be the plug to the license plate light from the truck. And this end is a connector I stole off the box truck, don't tell Dad. Um, but I spliced that together to the positive side. The license plate light is grounded. But this connector goes to the connector that was on the license plate light here. So if I plug this in where it belongs, come on, then this should plug together. Put the other plug in. Tape off the wires with some electrical grease so stuff doesn't corrode. Finished wiring it up back there last night. I came from out here and I hooked my battery up to these leads. Went back to check if the lights were working and the license plate light was dim. I thought that's odd, so I messed with it a bit and then I came from out here again to see if I had it hooked up wrong. And here my leads were all melted and smoking. So, unplugged those real quick. Found out that I had switched. What did I do? I hooked clearance lights or something. Or no, I hooked 12 volt battery power up to ground on the connector because 
what happened was I didn't have the right color wires to run to the other plug, so I had written down what colors they were and got it wrong on two of them and messed it up. So now I have a pair of leads that have a fuse in, so shouldn't happen again, but yeah, that was like, interesting. All done. Everything's wired up. The plugs hopefully work anyway. The light works. The plugs are a lot safer up here than the one was down here. The plans or files or whatever for this are going to be up for free once I finish them. And if there's enough interest, I'll look into making some for sale. Thanks for watching. See you next time.